Pedro, BB in the starting lineup after a pinch hitting role in the Giants' extra inning loss to the Mets on Tuesday. Top first, facing Tom Glavin. Bonds lines to center. Carlos Beltran lets a drop. Little single there. Later in the first, bases are full for Pedro Feliz, who is not Pedro Gomez. Different people. Feliz grounder through the left side. Rich Aurelia will score. Bonds. Bonds will score. Feliz, two for four, three ribs. Giants up two, nothing. Top third, man on for Bonds. Barry Lamar, Bonds, you get in his house right now. 3-5-3 three, three, double play, and that's your third baseman, David Wright, making the turn over there at second base. Bonds finishes one for three, and a walk. Barry Zito, excellent start for him. David Wright, check out Uncle Charlie, huh? Carlos Gomez, the hook. Bottom six, Carlos Delgado. That's the heater inside on the hands. Can't hit that. Giants win 3 0. Zito, seven innings pitch, six hits, seven Ks. Don't tell me it's just May. This is a marquee matchup. Boston hosting Cleveland. That's the best record in baseball against the second best record in the AL. Bottom third, 1 0 Sox. Kevin Euclid into the gap single. 22 game hit streak, but his nine game multi hit streak ends. Your next batter, David Ortiz, back from break. He can't catch a break, though. Paul Bird snags the liner. Doubles off Euclid's Bird, six innings, two runs, one earned. By the way, he's got 43 straight without allowing a walk. That's innings, top six, game tied. David DeLucci, DeLucci facing Dice K. Matsuzaka off the green monster. Trot Nixon, who doubled the lead off the frame, breaks the tie against his former mates. After a Barfield and Shopping single, make it 4-2. Grady Sizemore, bartender. Saki, two-run shot off. Matsuzaka, Sizemore's ninth, 6-2. Matsuzaka, Chase, gave up a career high, 12 hits. Indians, 18 hits in this one. All right, bottom seven, 6-2. Bases loaded for OTs, who went yard, but on the wrong side of the foul pole in that at at bat. Aaron Foltz gets him there, and it's 8-4, final. Yankees, Blue Jays, New York on the verge of being swept for the second straight series and in two different countries. On top of that, Marion Rivera needing a four-out save here on Wednesday. Bottom eight, he gets Lyle Bay. The Yanks go to the top half of the ninth, leading 6-5, trying to end a five-game losing streak. Two outs, one run lead, Alex Rodriguez. Solid insurance run scoring single at 7-5, Moki Cabrera touching the ball. Next batter, Jorge Posada, hip hip Jorge. Posada, pop fly, third baseman Howie Clark. He's got it, he got it, he got it, and now he just, for some reason, lets it drop. Big league ball players don't usually let that happen. Hideki Matsui scores its 8-5. After the play, A-Rod shorts up John McDonald has some work. They're chirping each other. Look at it again. Rodriguez clearly says something as he runs behind Clark. What did he say? Well, let's ask A-Rod. Yeah, hey, I just said, huh. I mean, I was, I said, huh, and that's it. I mean, I was actually uh, almost past their base. I was surprised when the ball bounced. Because they're, they're claiming that you yelled mine. No, I would never say that. That's not true. Two runners in scoring position. A lot of times kids will yell, look out for the bites! Next batter, Jason Giambi, singles up the middle. Rodriguez and Posada will score. It's 10-5 Yanks. So they tack on a bunch there in the ninth. They're going to win by the same score, but uh, the Jays, they're miffed. There goes Rodriguez. Look at him. We're just sitting right there. All right, we'll see you July 16th at Yankee Stadium. Here's Angels split the first two in the series. Wednesday determined if the M's would leave Anaheim a game closer to first place or a game further out than when they arrived. Each row, 22-game hit streak. Uh, still at 22, Eric Ibar diving. Stop gets him. Excellent work there. Home half of the first. Who's hitting? Gary Matthews Jr. against Felix Hernandez. Well, GMAT wears him out. He's hitting 429 his career against him. That's a three-run blast. Seventh of the season, 3-1 Angels. Casey Kochman followed with another home run. Back-to-back, -back, it's 4-1. Top third now, each row up again. Bases loaded. That one's through. So now we have a career best. Ties his career best 23-game hit streak. Mariners cut it to 4-3. That's Kenji Kojima scoring on that one. And then bottom five, Angels down one. Not anymore. Look at Vlad Hack. Three-run shot is 11. Angels take a 7-5 lead, win it, 8-6. Streak and half a dozen when they beat the Braves Tuesday. Same to Miller Park Wednesday. Andrew Jones, no strikeouts and 21 plate appearances coming into Wednesday's game. And then Dave Bush sets him down. Strike three. Bush strong outing. Seven innings pitch. One and run six Ks. Bottom seven. Brewers have a runner on third. Two outs. Tim Hudson facing Corey Hart. That one gets by Brian McCann. Hooray for beer. Brewers lead 2-1. Hudson uh, obviously moved in the dugout. Top eight. Brewers, Derek Turnbull. Often great, sometimes very shaky. He walked two, and then Edgar Renteria, infield hits. Turnbull's going to lead the game with the bases loaded. Brian McCann then comes back and says, yeah, I missed one. You guys go catch that one. Willie 
off Ryan Schaus. Everybody scores. Charge them all to turn ball. The Braves get seven runs in the eighth. Win at 9-3. The Beer Makers, six straight series loss. The Astros are 8-14 since Roger Clemens announced he's not coming through that door. So the Astros signing Dario Franchitti, and frankly, it doesn't look like he's got much of an arm. But he can drive. He could be mayor of Cincinnati, though. That, that's right. Ken Griffey Jr., he's... Well, he's 8 for 10, career off Wandy Rodriguez. He doubles in the top of the first, and Alex Gonzalez scores. The Reds are already up two, and then two batters later, Adam Dunn singles to shallow right. Griffey comes around and scores. The Reds up three. This is against a Houston team that's lost nine straight, and, well, let's make it 10. Lance Berkman, Edwin and Encarnacion lays out and robs him of a hit. That's the way it's gone for Phil Garner's club. That was a top play nominee, and the Reds win it 4-3. And, well, May in the NL Central, they not doing much of a dance. It, it was so bad that the Brewers, who have a losing record, have actually increased their lead in the division from the start of the month by two games. This is the first time that a division had no teams finish at or above 500 in a month since the NL West back in July of 05. Let's go back to baseball. Randy Johnson, one of those major leaguers who most everyone will stop to take a peek at when he's performing. Your peak is from Philadelphia. Jimmy Rollins slide back to the bench and Chase Utley. Walk the walk, Jimmy just walked. Pat Burrell, there's room for you too. Johnson, six innings, one hit, six Ks. Left after only 61 pitches. Said his back got tied on him. Blame the 10 game left. The game got tight. Bottom oh, yeah. nine. Fills down four nothing. Two on. Nobody out. And well, Brandon Lyon, Rollins triples off him, and Aaron Rowan, who he hit, and Shane Victorino who reached on an E score. It's 4-2, and Bob Melvin says, I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen enough of you. Yeah, Jose Valverde, you come on in. One out later, Burl says, you know, Jose is hes my kind of guy. Singles up the middle, Rollins scores 4-3. Now, Michael Bourne would pitch run for Burl, steals second. Ryan Howard, pinch hitting, count full. Line. Oh, that is not a happy day there. Born the double off, game over. Well, there it is, 19 save. D-backs win 4-3. Devil Rays, just like hockey. Sticks are involved, only one guy gets to use it at a time. James Shields on the bump for the home team, getting beat up in the first inning. Marcus Timms base hit, Gary Sheffield scores. It's 3-0. Shields got to get himself in order. He does. Von Rodriguez right back at you, buddy. Over to first. Tigers lead 3-1 at that point. Still 3-1 as we go to the fourth. Craig Monroe, he missed there. We go to the sixth. We're tied at three. That's right. Shields' teammates come through with a couple of runs, and Brendan Harris comes through with a go-ahead run. His third home run of the season. It's 4-3. We go to the ninth. Shields trying to become the first Devil Rays pitcher all season to throw a complete game. He does 5-3, and the, you know, the Yankees cannot shake Tampa. <laughs> Twins with their own version of Sports Center's top plays in this highlight. Minnesota hosting Chicago. We're top eight tied. Pat Neshek facing Joe Creedy. Nick Punto playing second for Luis Castillo. No second fiddle across the body. Gets Creedy at first. Next battle. Batter. Alex Cintron drag but Neshek. He, he looks like he went to the Ferguson Jenkins School of Fielding, and that ends the inning. Now, top nine still tied Joe Nathan against Tadahito Aguchi and Jason Kubel at the wall. And the, those are three straight, which could be considered top plays. Now, this, this would be a not top ten play for Sox fans. Bottom nine, bases loaded, two outs. Ozzy Guillen calls in David Ardsman, and he, he throws four pitches. All were balls. Torrey Hunter accepts. Twins get the the, the walk walk off win seven six. Up <sighs> show. Sports Center's top plays number ten, Fred. Reds Astros Lance Berkman. We like Lance a lot, but Edwin Encarnacion dives and throws. The Reds are going to win four three, and Berkman's thinking, God, could have had a hit, raise my average a point. Big big May game in Boston on Wednesday night. Indians and Red Sox. Coco Chris. Fouls it. Uh, Casey Blake goes over and falls. He's got friends in his dugout right there. We got another play from this one, so we're not going to tell you who won right now. Number eight, Jazz Spurs. Tony Parker to Timmy. Tim Duncan. Timmy! 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 Spurs win 109 84. They're going to the finals. At number seven, Stanley Cup final. Senators, Ducks, and Tamu Solani goes to the bar, but it's closed. <laughs> Hits the crossbar. Ray Emery falling on the puck. 
More from this one, so we're not going to give it away right now. Number six, Mariners Angels. Itro going to the eye bar. It's Eric eye bar takes away a hit there. Itro would uh, later get a little bingo and extend his hitting streak to 23. Just not right there. Angels win 8-6. I guess at number five, we better have a shot at Jack. Josh Bard, ground ball to Jack Wilson, who makes the diving stop and the toss with his glove to start the 6-4-3 double play. To, well, Jack gets the highlight, but the... The Padres got the win, 9 0 in your final. Number four, Orioles, Royals, Miguel Tejada lines to right. Martian is there. And hey, stunning news here the Royals have lost a ball game. At number three, who won game two? Paulson speeding in. Right wing shot. Goal! Number two, Indians Red Sox, you have to admit, for the most part, uh, gyro ball night, a disaster for the Red Sox. But here, Johnny Peralta, the center, Coco Crisp, the diving catch, not enough dice, K, a loser. Sox 8-4, and I love gyro ball night. All right, now I was talking up that Twins highlight. Yeah. Unbeknownst to me, at number one from Minnesota, Tadahito Aguchi, fly ball deep to left in a tie game in the top of the ninth. Jason Kubel going high, making the catch. The Twins win when the... They get walked in the winning run late. End of the AL Central. Verlander, you know, he can throw the gas. In the first, Travis Hafner, 97 miles an hour, and he'll just turn that bad boy around, huh? Yo, Shrek, man, you got to warn somebody you're going to crack one off like that. Hafner's 10th of the year. He went two for three, four ribbies. He's locked in. CC then here. Marcus Tim's ground ball. Look at Johnny Peralta. That is a great pick, a great throw, and it's only the second best defensive play of the inning. <laughs> Later in the frame, runner on first, Curtis Granderson. He's thinking, I got extra bases. Grady Sizemore thinks, I got the ball. That is full extension. Oh. Getting dirty. Oh. Oh, that couldn't have felt good, but that, that's how you get to be 18-4 and four at home right there. Sizemore, tremendous stuff. Indians keep the lead 2-1. Gary Sheffield in the fifth takes the 0-1 pitch. Says to Greg Gibson something like, you know, if you had one good eye, you'd be a Cyclops. And then the next pitch, Sheffield, broken bat grounder. His way to first, says something to Gibson, and immediately gets thumbed. You're ejected. Take another look. There it is. And then throws the bat. And then, yeah, that probably wasn't nice. Jim Leland, Von Rodriguez come out, try to hold back their man. You don't, don't, don't go pointing at blue right there. Bottom five tied at four. Runner on Victor Martinez. Two runs smoked there. Verlander allows more than three runs for the first time all season. Gave up seven in five innings. CC improves to eight and one. Indians take it 11 5. First game for the Giants in the post Armando Benitez era. The Giants traded their closure to Florida for Randy Messenger. Barry Bonds still needs 10 homers to become baseball's all time home run king. And Carlos Beltran, look out. Rich Erlia was. Going to catch a ball that was errantly thrown by Kevin Franzen, and he collides with Belcher, and it appears that both are fine. David Wright, if the wind was not blowing in, this ball would have hit that sharp sign. Instead, it hits oh, off the top of the wall. Beltran scores, but he would not return the next inning due to a bruised right knee. Andy Chavez hitting over 300 and button. 4-2 Mets, Ben Johnson scores. Top of seven, one out for Bonds. Intel Duque. Ooh, good rip. Deep to right. Not enough. El Duque goes seven. Joe Smith would pitch the eighth. And we know who's pitching the ninth. Bonds on deck. And here's Billy Wagner. 13 for 13. 31 in a row. As Mets closer. Mets up four and a half in the NL East. They beat the Giants. First record in the NL, the Reds in Houston. The Astros trying to avoid an 11 game losing streak, which would tie the longest streak in franchise history. Woody Williams had it going on. Five innings, just two runs, nine Ks. You saw two of them, Phillips and Griffey. Carlos Lee, two run double. Biggio and three for five. Loretta, four for five. They're one, two. Biggio, by the way, 23 more hits to reach 3,000. Lance Berkman, it's been an awful year this year. Slugging just 335, only six extra base hits coming in. Here's number seven, his sixth homer of the year, Houston wins. Marlins Brewers, fish, beer, mm, throwing some rye bread. That is a meal at most any tavern in Wisconsin on a Friday. Bottom four, Wes Overmuller to the Prince. And Prince Fielder just, that is a launch. He's headed for the Roadrunner. Fourth consecutive game of the home run, 19th of the season. Brewers take a 3-2 lead, and then in the eighth with a score tied at three, J.J. Hardy, who, uh, I don't know why they don't know this, but he's played ball in high school. He can be lethal up there. He's three for four, two ribs. The Brewers win it 4-3. Needed that one. 
for a beverage. Mark Burley is pitching for the White Sox, and his games don't normally take very long. Roy Halladay also doing his part. Tim Timmons says, that's a strike, Jim. Tell me I can see why you're upset. Career strikeout 19.35 for Tommy, one behind Willie Stargell for fifth all-time. Meanwhile, John Gibbons comes out. The crowd was booing. Don't take out Roy Halladay. He does it, and Halladay will go seven innings. He throws 96 pitches up to the bullpen, and they would do a good job. Jansen and Accardo. Back to the Blue Jay offense. They already have one run for Halladay, and they have another one. Career homer, 495 for the Big Hurt. 2-0 Toronto. They go on to win career win number 100 for Roy Halladay. Both Burley and Halladay were looking for their 100th career win, and Halladay gets it one hour and 50 minutes. Didn't take long. Johnny Depp thing and do it regular like. Top nine, Mike Cameron. Padres down 2-1. It's a base knock. Adrian Gonzalez scores, and we are tied at two, and we're going to play more. It was in baseball. When you're tied after nine, they'll let you play more. In the 11th, Cameron. Solo home run to right center. Fifth of the season. Padres up 3-2. Look at that fight for the ball out there. Next batter is Josh Bard. He's swinging hard, swinging for the fences. He's Bard yard. Well, maybe not. Top of the wall, over the wall. Very important to make that distinction. Mm. Looks like a homer. Jim Tracy comes out and questions that. He says, you know, I got some ground rules here. Look closely and that, whee, bing, that's top. Umps confer, the Cowboy and Crew Chief Joe West is out. That's two bases, ground rule double. Home plate umpire Ed Rapuano. Uh, Whoa. Goodbye, Bard. Rapuano will not be messed with. Now they're coming out. Now everybody wants a piece of him. Now you bump. That's not good. He's going to have to be held back. Cowboy Joe West also, he, he's going to get pod skipper Bud Black in this thing. Uh, fortunately, they win 4-2 and Bard scored anyway. Understanding they could all be LeBron James when we choose to expand our reach here. Number 10, Fred, Cody Ross. What kind of name is Cody? Good name if you're a cowboy. Flare down the right field line. Now watch the fan. He jumps to catches it. No, and the guy behind him with the baby's got it. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at Sparky. He got a baseball. <laughs> All right, number nine, Tigers Indians. Marcus Thames to short. Look at Johnny Peralta. Uh -huh. Cavs beat Detroit. Indians beat Detroit. Good night for uh, local moves there in Cleveland. And Johnny Peralta with a wall. He's out. Number eight, Padres Pirates. Sean Chacon on the hill. Adrian Gonzalez. Grounder up the middle. Here comes Freddie Sanchez. Whoop. Oh, little backhand. Short hop. Whip it over there to first. Mm. Adam LaRoche with a fine scoop as well. And that's eight. <laughs> eight. Unbelievable. Padres won 4-2 in extra innings after everybody got thrown out. Here comes number seven, Monica Abbott, Tennessee, Women's College World Series. Look at you. Look at ass. Swing that. What do you call that football thing? That magic orb or what's that thing for the football? <laughs> Gyro ball? No. Number six, French Open, Raphael Nadal. Baseline, forehand, drop shot, money. <laughs> Two, one, four, he wins, he'll keep winning. The magic bean, that's what you call it. Oh, football. yeah, the football is the magic bean. Number five, Giants, Mets, and look at this. Kevin Franzen, Omar Vizcal, they've, they've turned some magical stuff around that second base bag at Shea this week. Number four, more softball, Baylor, Arizona. Christy Fox takes Lisa Ferguson out of the park. That's a walk-off sports center to follow. Arizona wins it 2-1 in extras, and that thing actually looks like a grapefruit because it's kind of yellow. M melon, perhaps? Number three, Tayshawn Prince with the reverse. More from this classic. First, this classic. Number two, CC Sabathia on the mound. Curtis Granderson looks like he's got him, but no, Grady size Brady more than Brady racing back, dives and makes the catch. Unbelievable. Another you gotta be kidding me play by Grady Sizemore. The Indians won 11-5. They actually gave him two points for that. That's how good it was. <laughs> and uh, that was a great athletic move by a Cleveland pro athlete, but this one was more, more meaningful. The playoffs. LeBron James, 48 points, nine boards, seven to six. The Cavs win game five. Don't forget, they were up last year, three games to two on Detroit, but lost the last two. They'll try to change that Saturday night.